Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Dragon Ball Z Kakarot on the GTX 1050 Ti. To skip to any of the resolutions tested, check the timestamps down in the description. So first I want to quickly talk about the options menu. It's a very disappointing. We only have resolution, V-Sync, shadows and anti-aliasing, pretty much. Plus an internal rendering resolution option which goes from 70% to around 200%, but there's no options for post-processing, effects, or anything like that, and this is an Unreal Engine 4 game. Those usually have those options from the get-go, so the best way to improve performance, at least for what I've seen, is to lower anti-aliasing from Temporal to FXAA, that gave me a small boost in performance, and then lowering shadows from high to medium was also a decent performance improvement. Other than that, you don't really get a huge difference in performance from the highest to the lowest. Also, the game is kept at 60 frames per second, there should be a way to unlock the frame rate, but I was unable to do so. If I find a way, I'll leave a link in the description so you can unlock the frame rate, but at the moment I didn't find a way. But despite all that, the game runs pretty good, at least in my opinion. You can max it out even on a 1050 Ti on 1080p, and you can get 60 frames per second in most cases. The game usually pushes the GPU more in the open areas you can explore, but in those moments you are not actually fighting. When you get into an actual fight, the performance hit there is with a lot of effects on screen, but even with that happening, it's not a huge hit to the GPU. There's not a lot of complexity in the environment when you're fighting somebody else. So due to those things, I'll show you one of the open areas when you can explore at your heart's content, and then jump straight into a fight with tons of effects on screen, or as many as I can put out there. And one thing I forgot to mention, on the RX 570, when I launched the game for the first time, I got a fatal error message. This was because I wasn't using the latest drivers, I was one driver behind the optional latest one. So make sure to have your AMD drivers on the latest optional download. If not, the game won't launch at all on the AMD cards. But yeah guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching, and see you next time! Ends now. Oh, hello? What were you two trying to decide who gets to die first? We ain't planning on losing. Here goes! This playtime is over! Gohan, Daddy's gonna save me. <laughs> Are you actually that stupid? No one can save you. You'll be long dead before that could happen. This game ends now.
This thing's giving off a lot of energy. That windmill's huge! We're closing in on him. Let's head down and move in for the attack. No. He's using a device to... You know, believe it or not, battles aren't just about strength. Oh, that gives me an idea. Man, he's fast. Attacking in the blink of an eye. Just forget about joining us. You're nothing but a distraction. Whoa! This thing's giving off a lot of energy. That windmill's huge! We're closing in on him. Let's head down and move in for the attack. No. He's using a... No. Believe it or not, battles aren't just about strength. Oh, that gives me an idea. It's only a matter of time before you're both dead. I think I'll start putting a little more up into my attack. Trouble later. Best to deal with this now. 
This thing's giving off a lot of energy. That windmill's huge! We're closing in on him. Let's head down and move in for the attack. No. He's using a device that tells you No, know, believe it or not, battles aren't just about strength. It's only a matter of time before your boat is dead. But a